Hi guys, it's Adrian. Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can read the title below, this is my first ever story time. I know my face looking bland, I ain't looking like a glove up. I just wanted to come to you. I just came back from work, so just wanted to shoot this video to let you know about my story time because it was on my mind holy, right? And I would like to say uh, thanks to everybody who been following and keeping up with me. You know, it, I appreciate it. Keep it up. Tell your friend, tell whoever. Anyway, let me get to the story time. So, the story time is the time I met the side bitch. And as you can read the title below. And this is a very funny story and I got the okay to actually talk about it. So, I'm going to talk about it. So... I was dating this person. Relationship was going good, you know. Uh, as every relationship goes, it always starts off good. After a while, you know, I realized there wasn't there was distance to a sense. Yeah, they were really, really distant. And I was like wondering like what going on? Thing, you know, they were picked me up from work. They everything was going great. So they would pick me up from work all the time and recently I find it was kind of slowing down with it and I was like Oh I had to go and pick up a friend, oh I had to go and do this, oh I had to go and do that And in my head I'm like, I didn't think to mind of it but after a while it started to get a little repetitive So I'm like, okay something's up I know me I'm a little snoopy, I did went in searching on your phone. Now, take my advice. Don't ever search for something and not supposed to go on somebody's phone to look at. Okay? Do not do that because you might see something that you wasn't supposed to see. But anyway, so I went on the phone and I saw some messages from this person. Now, the person didn't have a name, but the conversation that was going on, it was more on the lines of Oh, I miss you. I can't wait to see you. Um, I can't wait to hold you. And in my head, I'm like, I thought I was the main one. So who is this person you've been messaging, talking about I miss you and stuff? So now my head started tick, and I started to get really, really pissed. So after it went on for some days, I didn't say anything. I initially, I kept quiet. I'm the type of person I will keep quiet on anything. I would not say anything until I have, until I, it boils up inside, until I burst it out and tell you everything. So, it went on. I've continued always, you know, I can't pick you up from work. I have to go and do this. I have to go and do that. I have to go and thing. And, and it started to get a little annoying after a while. So, what I did had a day they said that they have to go and drop their alleged aunt in now if you're from Trinidad you're gonna know that we have a cinema called movie tour so I went so they dropped whoever at their aunt so calling aunt at movie tour so I'm like all right okay so I went down movie tour by myself <laughs> By myself, I know if I didn't get beat up, I would have looked for it for myself. But I went because I want to know who was with the person that I'm with. So I want to find out who is this person. So I went down and when I reached there, I didn't see nobody. I didn't see anything. I, I was like waiting, waiting. I walked around the mall, I walked in Fiesta Plaza, I walked all over. Just, I didn't see them nowhere. So I said, okay, Adrian, you went down here like a fool. Two minutes after walking out of movie town by the ticket booth, I saw his car pull up. And somebody jumped out and ran. A guy ju as somebody jumped out. <laughs> and they went to the ticket booth. So I'm like, okay, who's this person? Jumping on the car, so I sit on there and make sure they didn't see me, the person didn't see me thing. But in this in their car, it is have it's not tinted, but it's tinted enough that you could see the person outside could see in it. Okay, I'm gonna give the persons and them some names. 
The person that I'm with, I'm going to call them Casper. Casper. Easy name to remember. And the next person, I'm going to call them No Heaven Ass Bitch. So, No Heaven Ass Bitch went up by the ticket booth and Casper was in the car still. But I could still see in the car. So I'm like, okay. The dear, but they're looking around to see if they see, you know, like very suspicious. So Casper pull off and then they went to park the car. So I'm like, okay. And no having an ass bitch stand up there waiting for them. And then Casper came back out, walking cool as ever. Put the hands around no having ass bitch and they went in into the cinema. Now I'm smiling because it's kind of funny to me because at the point in time I was so angry. I wish the point I was going to a fight, which I did not do. Mind you, I did not do it. I did not fight. So they went in, let me say, they went in, they watched the movie. I waited there. I waited there. At least, let me say, about five hours. Yes, yeah, stupid me waited five hours just to see what happened. And that's where the story got sweet. So, Casper, no having ass bitch, walked out of the cinema, walked back in front by movie town there because it's like a big circle there. And everybody stood up there. And no having ass bitch. <laughs> Look at that. Right. No having ass bitch stood up there and was looking into Casper's eyes and I walked up. Casper saw me walking up and Casper was like tapping no having ass bitch. And I was like, hi, can I? How are you guys? And no having ass bitch turned and asked Casper, who is this? <laughs> That's where it gets sweet. Wait. So, I told her, said, Oh, you don't know who I am? I said, I'm the person that Casper been with for how many years? I think it was three years? Yeah, three years. So, who you be? Oh, you didn't tell me you had, um, no, having has been selling Casper that, that, oh, I didn't know you had anybody. Oh, really? Okay. Now, the good grace of God, I was so angry that I was starting to tremble and I, want, I wish I had a friend there. Yeah, I wish I would have, was, can I tell a friend I can I bring? So I know because if I did gain something, I could have had them to drag my way. But I said, you know what? I left. I took my calm self and I left. I told no have an ass bitch, you could have him. And you could do whatever you want. I, on the other hand, walked away very calmly, very nicely, and very quietly. Got in a car, got in the car, and I left. Mind you, Casper been ringing down my phone after I left there constantly. Oh, how you could do that? How you know I was there? How you you came and you just show up? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And I'm like, okay. Your point being, you already did what you did. I don't want you. Yeah, so, long story short, this side bitch, I didn't hold no animosity towards this side bitch, but don't have an ass bitch. But Casper, mm. yeah, we don't speak now, so it doesn't really matter, but it is what it is. So that's my first story time. I hope you enjoy it. I don't know, it was kind of entertaining. So I don't know, tell me if you like it and if you want more, I would put up more. I'm actually have a couple more stories to come and yeah, I probably realized I took a lot with my hands because that's how oh, kind of excited. I'm kind of smiling a lot. But anyway, 
Have a great day and hope everybody stays safe. Bye. <laughs>